quiet. Really? <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. I just drove six hours to West Virginia. I am at the Bechtel Scout Reserve doing a little soil testing. May I have your attention, please? Ooh. This is a lightning advisor. Lightning advisor. Lightning has been detected within 12 miles of the summit. All areas and aquatic sports are to be closed at this time. This is a lightning advisor. Lightning That's pretty exciting. Apparently there's a lightning advisory. Check this out. Yeah, they're going to shut down the water activities. Oh, hoo-hoo. Anyway, back to why I'm here. So, Garrett is coming down and they are setting up a huge detecting booth and activity center for the scouts at the World Jamboree. Um, I'm pretty fortunate I get to come down and help out teach some kids how to use metal detectors and have some fun in the process but we heard the soil here was kind of hot so we want to check it out and make sure we got the right machines so I brought an ace an AT max an AT pro and the AT gold I want to start off with the ace and the AT pro if necessary um, I got free range, so I'm gonna go do a little detecting. We'll see if we can find anything cool. It's probably gonna be a lot of modern stuff, but uh, let's get to it. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so here's what it looks like. We're probably going to have a tent down here at the bottom of the hill along the dam. There are Porta Johns. There will be water station here. Um, soda machines. And then we go over here and there is the conservation trail and that is the area we are going to have access to to teach these kids how to detect. I'm not sure which tent will be the Garrett tent yet. We've got the lake down here. Wow, this is amazing. This scout reservation is huge absolutely huge this is awesome just this just the view alone this is great all right on to the conservation trail and we'll see what we can find I'm gonna have to go up into the woods hopefully it's not too overgrown hopefully the bugs aren't too bad because I definitely left my spray in the car There's some areas you could probably swing in. I wonder if there's any Sasquatch in these woods. Moat monsters. See, now, I'm just gonna take a little walk first and see where I'm, see what kind of stuff I can find. Fat kid needs some exercise. It's not gonna hurt. By the way, really nice job on these shirts. These are nice shirts. I like them. This place is awesome. Look at this. Look at that wooden trestle. Oh, this is so cool. This place is great. This is like cream of the crop for scouts. Man, this is like the best camp to go to. We got a trail that goes off this way. Oh, chipmunk. And Mr. Chipmunk. <laughs> so we've got some more sights up here. All right, I'll tell you what. This looks like good at ground as any.
and we're gonna give this a shot here. Let's see. Ooh, that's rough digging. Awful digging. Okay. I'm gonna go throw the backpack under the tent, set up a machine, come on over here. I brought some targets with me and uh, we're gonna see what we got going on here. So, see you in a bit. All right, I got a decent signal, a penny signal. Um, so far, so good. I've got the sensitivity on the Ace 250 at two notches under full. Um, normally, I don't hunt with that kind of sensitivity, but I just really wanted to kind of crank it up a little bit to see if it would affect the machine or not here. Um, and it is extremely stable at high sensitivity. So that's a really good sign. So let's dig this target together. Let's see what it is. And... Um, I'll show you what it's ringing up on the machine too. All right, I'm gonna move the shovel. Now we got. got a nice, solid. There it is. Nice repeatable signal. Nice high bell. Ringing up is a penny. Let's see what it is. It's pinpointing small. That's a good sign. Alright, so she's going to be right here. Let's dig it out together. Man, the soil is the worst. Awful digging. I'm not going to go too crazy digging a hole because it's probably pretty shallow. Yeah, it's pretty shallow. So I can just flip this over, flip that over. Yeah, it's in the plug here. And it's gonna be a coin. Let's see what kind of coin. It's a penny. Exactly what I thought it was gonna be, just a memorial. And it rang up beautiful on the machine, high sensitivity. Um, not getting any chatter at all, and uh, yeah, cool beans. So the Ace machines will do their job down here. Um, no issues. So far, so good. We're gonna go wrong, along. I'm gonna check the trail out, and uh, maybe venture off into the woods and see what else I can find. So see you in a bit. Man, it is hotter than a bugger out here. Um, Got another good tone, sounds like a quarter, sounds shallow. Um, go over it real quick for you. It's giving me dime quarter, real shallow. Still got the high sensitivity. So I'm, I'm coming up, it's, 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 it's pretty shallow. So let's see what it is. Uh, let's see if I can pinpoint from the surface. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> They're right on the surface. Shh, quiet. So, yep, definitely quarter there. That's awesome. So, all right. I don't think there's going to be any issues using single-frequency Ace machines here. Um, I'm going to venture back down the hill and check out, like, up in the woods a little bit and see how the soil is there. Um, it could be a little different than here, so. I'm just going to scope it out for a little while. Nothing else better to do, and that's what I came down here to do. So, see you in a bit. kind of wish I was out there on the lake, in the water, rather than up here in the woods. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. Um, I've got a silver quarter. I'm going to bury it between four and five inches. And I want to see how high a sensitivity I need to find that coin, or how high a sensitivity I'm able to run without it starting to be too chattery. You don't always want high sensitivity. Um, it can actually do more damage than good. So here's a good little test. We're gonna play with the sensitivity and see what we come up with because these soil conditions are very dry, which does not make for good conductivity, which means you may not get as deep of a signal as you would really normally get if you were out after a good rainstorm. So let me plant this quarter 
the silver quarter. I'm planting this and I'll show you. We've got a meter on here. I'm roughly five inches below the surface. I'm going to place the silver quarter flat. Now this isn't always the case with coins. Sometimes coins are up on edge. So you, this isn't this isn't 100% accurate on every target, every coin. We'll fill this back in. Give it a good stomp. And this is something you can do at home too, um, to give yourself a good idea of what your machine's telling you. So now we're going to turn this bad boy on. I'm turning the sensitivity down four notches. Four notches below the top. So I'm in all metal just, just so I can hear everything and we're going to see if she picks up the silver quarter with four notches down. Just barely. You got to be going really slow, really close to the ground to pick that signal. So we're going to turn it up one more. And now we're three above. Or three under, I'm sorry. Oh, and it's, it's, it's picking it up a little bit better. There we go, that's a lot better. You still got to go pretty slow. And you got to stay pretty close to the ground, but that's pretty good. So let's turn it up one more notch, and I'm getting a beautiful, solid, repeatable signal. And sensitivity is two under full, no interference. I'm picking that up at five inches with no problem. I love that bell sound that machine gives you. So if we go all the way up. Still no problem. You don't need it all the way up, but it seems to work on this site at two inches, or two notches rather, I'm sorry, two notches below full and uh, on sensitivity. And we're getting that at five inches really nice. Let's go one more down. And we're still getting it, but I don't feel as confident about that sensitivity level because see how it's kind of missing it a little bit? You might miss that. So one more up, and you got a beautiful repeatable signal, and you're ready to hunt this terrain in the proper mode, proper sensitivity, and we've got a full battery. Unfortunately, I have a six hour drive home, so this is gonna end my trip here to Bechtel for at least another week. Um, I'll be back down with the Garrett crew from Texas, and uh, we're going to be here. I think Nugget's coming along, and uh, we're going to have a good time. Teach some kids how to metal detect. That's what it's all about. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Get out and find your treasure. See you on the next one. Sit, Julie. Sit. <coughs> good, Julie.